Welcome to my lecture online. Our next example is one where we definitely want to use parametric equations. We have all three variables in integral, y, z, and x, and we have a dx, a dy, and a dz there. The curve, in this case, is a straight line that starts from the point 2, 0, 0 and goes to the point 3, 4, 5. So we realize here that x goes from 2 to 3, y goes from 0 to 4, and z goes from 0 to 5, all in a linear fashion. Now the most troublesome or the most challenging uh, part of this sometimes is finding the parametric equation. So again, let's find what those equations should look like. We're going to write x, y, and z in terms of the variable t. And how do we do that? Well, first of all, here we see that there's a change of 1 for x, a change of 4 for y, and a change of 5 for z. So in this case, I would say x is going to be 1t, y is going to be 4t, and z is going to be 5t, all positive because they change to a bigger number. And we want t only to change by 1, which means that since x changes by 1, it's 1 times t. Since y changes by 4, it's 4 times t. And since g change, z changes by 5, it's 5 times t. But then we need to see if there's any constants that we need. And notice that when t is equal to 0, x should be equal to 2, which means that we need to add a 2 here. But in the case of y and z, when t is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, which is good, and when t is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, which is good. So here are the three parametric equations that can trans transform x, y, and z into, into a function of t. Then, of course, we still need to find dx, dy, and dz. So in this case, dx dt is going to be equal to 1, and that means that dx is equal to dt, dy dt is going to be equal to 4, which means that dy is equal to 4 dt. And likewise, we can see that dy dz, oh, I should say dz dt, dz dt is going to be equal to 5, which means that dz can be written as 5 dt. So now we have everything we need to know to replace what's in here with the equivalent in terms of t. So now we can write this as follows. This can be written as an integral from t equals 0 to t equals 1 of y dx, and y is 4t, so we have 4t, and dx is going to be dt, plus the integral from 0 to 1, and it's probably better to write as three separate integrals. z is going to be 5t, and dy is going to be 4 dt times 4 dt plus the integral from 0 to 1 of x dz and x is going to be t plus 2 and dz is going to be 5 dt. And now we can go ahead and evaluate all three of these integrals. We probably want to clean them up a little bit. So this is equal to 4 times the integral from 0 to 1 of t dt plus 20 times the integral of t dt from 0 to 1, and here plus 5 times the integral of 2 plus t, uh, t plus 2 times dt from 0 to 1, and those are, of course, relatively easy integrals, so this becomes equal to 4t squared over 2 from 0 to 1, plus 20t squared over 2 from 0 to 1, and plus 5 times, that would be t squared over 2 plus 2t, from 0 to 1. Plugging in the values, of course, when plugging the lower values, we get 0. Plugging in the upper values, we get 4 times 1 over 2, which is 2. Here we get 20 times 1 over 2, which is plus 10. And here we get this one here, that would be 1 half times 5, which would be plus 5 over 2. And then plus, here we have 5 times 2, which is plus 10. You can see that's 10, 20, 22, 24 and a half. This is equal to 24.5, and that would be the result of that particular integral. But again, a very good example of how to find the parametric equations, especially when the curve is a straight line, and especially when we have all three variables in the integral. And that's how it's done.